Okay, we start off with running in place. So I'm gonna crank that down a little bit so you can see my feet, or more of my feet anyway. Keep your hands up, keep your feet moving. I do jab cross hook uppercut just because that makes sense to me. You don't have to, you can do anything you want with your hands. You can throw ridge hands or back fists or elbows if you want to, as long as you keep your hands up and you keep moving because it's a warm up. If you stop and think about what you're gonna do and stop moving your feet, then you're not warming up anymore. Okay, we're going to shuffle side to side. We get more shuffle, more space to shuffle back here. And then knees. Make sure when you do this that your standing knee stays bent. Not because it's better technique, but because you're doing more work that way. This is a warm up. Other side. Then we're going to do lunge front kick. I step, if you step back to lunge, then it comes right up from front kick. Alternating legs. side back. Okay, just because you're doing this as a warm-up doesn't mean you can forget your technique. So I'm still pushing on the front kick, turning my standing foot away from the target on the side kick, talking to you so I keep tipping over. Okay, so that was six exercises. I want you to run through that set two more times, so 30 seconds each. Run, punches, shuffle with punches, knees, lunge front kick, kicks. Then again, run, punches, shuffle and punch, knees, lunge and kick, and front side back kick. Then when you come back, you're gonna stop the video, do them again, or repeat and do them again, I don't care. Okay, then when you come back, we're gonna stretch. Start here, reach up, over to one side, other side, and straight out to the front. Reach for the floor. Over to one side, drag your ankle, pull your chest to your knee, chin is up, and then down in a side stretch. Turn, stretch your hip flexor. Make sure that your foot is out past your knee. If you want a little bit more stretch, put this elbow inside the knee and push it open. Straighten out your legs, chin up, back is flat, reach your chest down towards your front knee. You should feel this primarily in the hamstring of your front leg. You might also feel it a little bit in the calf of your back leg. Come to the center, toes straight forward, push your knees out. 
Other side, drag your ankle. <coughs> Down in the side stretch. Turn, stretch your hip flexor. Straighten out your legs. Chin up, back flat, stretch your hamstring. Have a seat. Feet straight out in front of you. I'm going to take one foot, cross it over the other knee. Whichever foot I have up, I'm going to take the opposite arm, put my elbow outside the knee, push across while I take my upper body and look in the opposite direction. Other side. And feet out. <clears throat> Reach over to one side, grab your toes. Keep this foot, keep your knee, knees down, keep this foot on the floor, keep your both butt cheeks on the floor. Reach over to the, to the other foot. Other side. Come up. Make sure your toes are pointing straight up. Lift your chin. Reach your elbows toward the floor. Pull your feet in. Pull your toes back as far as they'll go. Ideally, grab your toes and pick your heels off the floor. If you can't do that, if you can't reach your toes, okay, pull your toes back as far as they'll go. Don't round your back here. Look at the angle of my back. I'm pushing my shoulders forward, and then I'm going to hinge forward for my hips. You should feel this down the back of your legs. You really shouldn't be feeling it. Maybe a little bit in your tailbone, but you shouldn't be feeling this up your back. Pull your feet in. Heels on the floor. Put your, for now, put your knees inside your elbows. Push them out. Rock back and forth. And then just bring your elbows back out so you can drop your butt. Hands down, straighten out your legs. Okay, then we have three exercises to do. Each one of them, I'm gonna show you. And then you're gonna go back and you're gonna do each one for another minute. The first one is, is a series of squats. I'm gonna angle this down even a little bit more because the toe, the angle of your toes is what makes these squats different. Okay, we have two horse stances. We have a toes in horse stance, and we have a toes at 45 horse stance. And we're gonna do squats in both of those. We're gonna start toes together, and reach down, touch the floor. When I do this, I'm not sticking my butt out, I'm keeping my shoulders over my hips. Then I turn my toes out at 45 and squat again. So toes in, toes out. Toes in, toes out. Okay, the next one is dips. I think, yep, yeah, that's what I wrote down, dips. Okay, so when you do a dip, <clears throat> Ideally, you put your hands on the floor so that your fingers are facing your toes. Ideally, you would have your palms down straight like this. My elbows don't bend enough to do that. I have to come up on, on um, fingertips. If you need to do it on the knuckles, that's okay too. Or if you have like push-up bars, that works. But you gotta come here and you gotta pick your butt up. This is not a dip. This is an upper body exercise. It's a core exercise too because your core is what keeps your hips up. But it's primarily Triceps, so my elbows are bending. They're not bending out, they're bending straight back. So it's sort of like an inverted push-up. Okay, and one last exercise. This one is a, it's a full crunch. So you start here, 
my, my tail bones on the floor, my shoulder blades are just, just touching. I might pull in and out. Okay, so I want you to go back and I want you to do a minute of each of those. A minute of the squats, toes in, toes out. A minute of dips and a minute of full crunches. And then when you come back, we will continue. Okay, so the video you're gonna do now is your strike test video. After you've done your warm up, you need to do a minute of regular jumping jacks, a minute of regular push ups. You can do them on your knees if you want to, but your back has to be flat, butt down, chin up, and a, knee, a minute of full sit ups. Hands here, full sit ups, not just crunches, but all the way down, all the way up. Then you're going to do whatever the instructions are in your strike test. So everybody, you do the forms from your level, you do the forms from the levels below you if there are any, and then to get credit for this, <clears throat> you take video of yourself doing either your open hand form or your weapon form or two of your self defenses, and you either send them to me by Facebook Messenger or you send them a message to the karate school or you put it up on Instagram or Facebook with the proper hashtag underneath it. So strike test, make it happen. Go. That's right, right four, three, four, three, four. Probably a good idea. Go. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh yeah. 